Hi, so I'm going to talk about um, Frank Frazetta's Johnny Comet. Um, it's my favorite. Out of all the Frazetta stuff that you can get your hands on, for me, I think, so I can um, get a grasp of the way he grows as an artist, is all in the Johnny Comet series. It's a really cool book. Get it on Amazon if I think it's available. And I'll tell you why I like it. Because what tends to happen with artists, or even myself included, is Whenever I do anything, I want to give it 100% and I don't want to give it anything less. Now there's a difference between giving something 100% and recognizing when the stuff doesn't look 100%. I know that my stuff, sometimes my stuff, I give it my 100 but it doesn't look like it. But that doesn't mean I should not turn it in. And the Johnny Comet series really makes me understand that a little bit more like Frank's work in the Johnny Comet series made me realize that you could still give it a hundred percent if the stuff doesn't look a hundred percent it's all good if you recognize that that's fine but there's such a thing as committing to the work getting it done and uh, I'll show you a little bit what I mean by that so it's a big volume look how thick it is it's huge all right what I like about it is that you can see its growth. So let's let's look at that face alone. Check that out. All right. Look at the anatomy on that. Okay. Let's see. You can see it a little better than that. As a drawing itself. I'm not going to knock on Frazetta and say he sucks. I'm just going to say, towards the end of this book, there's a huge difference. But, when I look at the drawing, when I look at the rendering, when I look at the inking, he gave it 100%. He gave it 100%. Now, did he know, did he know his work was a little okay? I don't know that. I know a lot of artists, when they do work, they believe everything they do is great. There's that few that recognize that they got any mileage but whatever it is no matter what he did no matter how he executed he always gave it a hundred percent and beyond and you can tell in the drawing look at the inking look at the goggles look at the hair everything just screams that um this is my end all be all and there's something cool about that look at that he executes every panel like his life depends on it Here's this one. Check this one out. Look at his arm. Look at his back. Look at the back of that head. And he gave it like 100%. Let's see here. Some beautiful work here. Just like the way they're walking. There's a lot of character in these. Look at that shoe. So good. Um, my intent here is not to knock on for the. It's to um, share how much uh, his work influenced me, and how I'm able to under, you know understand the way he went about things. I think if you were alive, I'd love to ask him. Um, but I mean, look at these guys' facial expressions here. Look at that, guys. And you look at that, it's a very sophisticated work. What I like about it is that it's dated too. I mean, 1982. No, 1952. <laughs> 1952. So good. And when I see this work, and I'll do a little bit of drawing, so I can show you what I mean. So let, let's take this back of the head for an example here, like that one right there. When I think about drawing the back of the head, my mind's always on the skull.
Okay. And then and we've got the back of the head. And we, we want to make sure that when we define that head, we can feel this sense of design here. Something that says, hey, I got the back of my head. You know, this one here, right there, has a very uh, swoopy-like feeling. Why am I pointing this out? It's not to knock that he didn't understand. I'm saying that later in his other work, towards the end of this book, we see a ton of cool stuff. A ton of cool stuff. And that's what I'll show you later. So we have that, we have that, we have the nose. Throat. Right? Just a little bit more defined. Okay. So let's keep going. Look at this guy's face. You know, it's funny because I relate to it in the sense that when I was doing work, a lot of drawing work, I knew that it was terrible, so I had a terrible attitude about it because I knew it was terrible. And I think had I had this book earlier, I would have done my work, known that it was terrible, but still gave it a hundred percent. So my my. Um, at least my enthusiasm about working and drawing is coming across not so much what the outcome is and the Johnny Comet series as I go forward I mean and we can go pages right look and and I hate to come across as like his work is so so on these but you know that it's okay compared to the stuff that's towards the end again the point of this um, video is to show growth and um, let me go ahead and do that let me just go a little forward and we can use a point of reference why don't we use this old man here, here. Look at that old man right there. Just look how simple the drawing is, okay? Very simple. Let's get this focus thing working. Okay, it's just very simple looking. Now I'm gonna skip towards the end. Oh, look at this one. But if you look at his fingers, you look at the lining, you look at the background, even that little background here, the little penmanship. He gave a damn. Look at the back of her heels. He really gave a damn. Okay. Now let's look at the stuff he was doing later towards the end of this book. Massive, huge difference. Look at that guy's face. Look at the hands. Huge difference. Look at that face compared to that face. And look how thick the pages are until I get to that point. And it's dated. That's the beautiful part. All this is dated. It's dated here. Let's see. Gosh, this one doesn't have a date. <laughs> but I guess my point is, is that there's something to be said about um, just moving forward. You know, like his... He always believed in his work, and his work always involved. He evolved. Look at this guy's face here. Beautiful work. Look at the hands. It's amazing. Um, there's an old man here. It's really good too. Look at that. This one here. The hands. The face, everything rocks. That's such a fat difference from when he started. Look at, look at his face is here. Doesn't even seem like the same guy. But he kept at it, kept doing it. But even though, like like I said, like 
I feel even in this drawing, if not as what the stuff is, you know, towards the end of the book, he still executed it like he cared. And I think that's that's what um, I hope this video, what you know, what is uh, I'm trying to come across here. If you guys are artists or you guys are doing anything, I would advise taking Frank's example and execute everything like you believe in it 100%. The outcome you feel is like a little odd, a little weird, it's cool. I mean, you will evolve. And I've seen this from another artist. I've seen it from many artists, but let me share a couple of drawing scripts before I move on from that. Look at look at those figures right there. Very pretty. Look at that. Look at that guy's face. It's just amazing. And what's amazing about it? So that's what's the difference between me reviewing this stuff and a lot of other people. A lot of people just say it's amazing, amazing. Well, I'll explain why. When I look at this guy's face here, this is what I see. He has this little small indentation there, the back of the head here. And I swear to you, I see this. got the skull here but I see all these little like things that the skull has here in this one little simple drawing you know? look at every little line counts let's try to get that focused here <laughs> let's see bullet focus auto cam there you go look at that all these small little subtle indentations, even that hand rocks. Why did I say why the difference between me and a lot of guys? I've seen a lot of videos where people talk about how great he is. You just say how great he is. They don't talk about why he's great. They don't draw out his greatness. And it's been a couple of years following his work, trying to understand his work, and learning the human anatomy, learning the skull, learning like proportions, learning all these things just to understand these small little things so I can appreciate it and I hope from this channel what you guys get from me making these videos is me attempting to me sharing how I see him and what I'm looking at because um, some people when I share it with others they say man you get you get like crazy about the smallest things well, there's a reason why it's not just because there's reasons why I I get enthusiastic. There are a lot of people who, just because it's Rosetta, it's like everything's great. Not like that. Um, I'm just I'm not a fanboy. I uh, I'm a fan because I see it in the work, and I'm just being genuine about it. Check this out. Look at the back of this head. Look at his ears. It's crazy good. A fat difference from those beginning drawings. And we can point a couple more out. Yeah. There it is. Look at the back of his head here. Look at the back of his head here. It's a huge difference, but like even this one here might not be as detailed as the one I just pointed out. But what's cool is that if you ever saw the back of a skull, you would see that there 
like here's our so our, our like our vertebrae are and our jaw. We have this little thing here. It's cool. It's like this little crest thing here, and then our back muscles come this way. And it's honestly just as Brazil described it right here. I mean the same. So his his understanding is all there. I just think during the work of doing Johnny Comet, I think he really honed in on it. I mean, look at this guy's face. It's still really good stuff. But I just think um, during his comic strips, he like I said, just honed in his craft and really buckled down and did some amazing stuff. Here's that old man again. Look at that. So good. There's some of the lady here. Look at these drawings here. Look at that one. It's great work. So this book is pretty thick. The first beginning drawings, you get to see how he evolved. Sort of in the middle, and then there's like a point where he just, I don't know what happened. He just became a god. Hello. Like, stuff was just so good. And uh, I think uh, some of the best work I, I, I've seen. And there was another artist who did something like that. Um, and I don't mean to knock him either. <laughs> but if you guys ever check out this uh, Danger Girl by J. Scott Campbell, if you look at the beginning, again, it's pretty thick too. And you can tell with my greasy fingers I look at this book a lot. Check out his work. Okay. Now I'm not saying it's weak, I'm not implying that, but I am saying that there's a big difference from the first page to the last. Look at this one. So when I see this, they're nice. I Just look at her face first. Just check that out. It's a nice drawing. But when you go towards the end of the book, like Johnny Comet, um, it's like this big series. Here, let's take a look. Check out. Look at her face. That difference from that to that. Look at her lips. That's just not the same. Look at her. Look at the hair. Look at the rendering of the mouth. It's really pretty. Really cool stuff. The drawings are excellent. And you see that how this artist evolves like like if, even if you look at these drawings nice drawings huge different from, difference from um well look even to the eyebrow it's really good it's very expressive Like animator expressive. She's Scott Campbell, some really good stuff. And I just realized that when I look at this, like even when I see Scott Campbell's work, you could tell he puts a lot of he puts it all in there. Like his effort is over a hundred percent. So is Frank's. And towards the end they just like changed. Like, obviously always for the better. And um, I love this cover because that's not what it looks like towards the end of this book. Towards the end of this book, it just looks amazing. And I wanted to share that observation um, with you all. Look at that face. 
that. In the next video, um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll draw a little bit from Johnny Comet and I'll take snippets of all the stuff that I've collected and um, I'll just draw from it just so I can geek out and explain a little bit more why I enjoy it as much as I do. There's a character here, this guy. It's really cool. Just his fingers alone are super cool. Yeah, I'll go into detail and I'll talk about why I like it. And you know, that's, this relates to animation and the stuff that I learned and been exposed to in the animation world. I love that drawing. That's so good. The guy can do cartoony, he can do the straight stuff. And you, yeah. It's just so, so good. This figure here. His hands are so cool. Look at that hand. So awesome. I believe he was in his 20s. <laughs> 24, 25 when he did these. can tell I'm trying to wrap up but it's kind of tough since there's so much good content in here and there's so much I want to say but yeah let's even look at that look at that's supposed to be like the old lady well an old lady but check it out it's beautiful shapes look at that old, that old man's starting to change you know, from those simple drawings to these more complicated drawings. Those faces. Yeah, I wonder what happened. I wonder if he had a conversation with a couple of illustrators or what the heck happened? How did he evolve so quickly with it? Look at her hands, her face. So good. Ah, look at that. And then check that out. Oh, look at that old man. Not his, uh, not his best. <laughs> it's crazy. But again, we see fat, big differences. Yeah. Well, if you guys ever want to take a look at this stuff, Johnny Comet, the next uh, video, I'll take a couple of the drawings that I just pointed out on this video. I'll draw from it, but I thought I'd introduce his work. My, some of my favorite work that he's done and uh, yeah you guys have a good one, thanks